The next microorganism that we'll be looking at is the what? Metagonimus yokogawai. Metagonimus yokogawai. Okay? So the name actually sounds uh, funny and actually sounds like a Japanese name. All right? So you get to see that this organism actually causes a disease condition known as what? Metagonimiasis. All right? So let's repeat the name again. Metagonimus yokogawai. Okay? So we'll be talking about it. I'll be talking about the distribution of this organism, the host for this organism, the infections, okay? The pathogenesis, the clinical features. That's when this organism is causing that disease known as what? Metagonimiasis in humans or animals, okay? So let's get to define it, okay? List up with a lot of pictures for you guys to have an idea of what this organism actually looks like. The Metagonimus yokogawai is a species of what? Intestinal flukes that infect humans, animals, and will cause a disease condition known as what? Metagonimiasis. Okay? The distribution of this organism is what is endemic. That means it is on a rise in Asia, in uh, mostly countries like what? Japan, Korea, China, and Taiwan. That's why I told you guys that. The name Metagonimus yokogara actually looks like a Japanese name, right? It is also found in what? Eastern Europe, in Russia, and South America. So, Hallelujah, Africa was not mentioned, all right? Hosts. The definitive host is what? Humans, cats, uh, pigs. So, that means humans can even contact this infection from eating meat from any of these mentioned animals that was not properly processed, okay? Intermediate host is what? Freshwater fish. So that means humans can also what? Contact this disease condition from eating fish. That's if the fish is undercooked. All right? Infections or mode of transmission. This is supposed to be mode of transmission. Where you are consuming raw or undercooked fish or contaminated water generally. Pathogenesis. It will cause intestinal inflammation leading to malabsorption leading to allergic reactions, leading to what? Vitamin deficiencies, right? So if there's a vitamin B12 deficiency, it can also lead to what? Anemia. Do you understand? So one thing actually leads to one thing. So if it is causing a disease condition in you, what will be the symptoms? There will be abdominal pain, there will be diarrhea, there will be weight loss, there will be nausea and vomiting, there will be fever, all right? So, since you are saying um, this organism can actually go into a human being and actually what, mature into the adult one and get um, expelled in the feces, which could also contaminate the water bodies again. If you want to diagnose, you can do a stool examination. And for the stool examination, you are trying to check out for if there are eggs or segments of the what, microorganisms right there. The imaging studies can also help, like CT scan, MRI, X-rays, endoscopy can also help, and serological tests can also help. All right, treatment. Use drugs like what? Praziquantel, albendazole, niclosamide. Prevention. Just make sure that you properly cook your fish, and even your pigs, even your cats, okay? Make sure that you properly cook it. Or you could freeze your meat in general to, uh, uh, for a temperature of what? Minus 20 degrees Celsius for 24 hours before cooking it. Improved sanitation and hygiene can help regularly deworm the animals. Okay, this can also help. Epidemiology, an estimated number of what? 1 to 10 million people are infected by this disease condition worldwide. And it's more commonly in rural areas with very poor sanitation. Okay. So one way of trying to overcome this is what? Proper sanitation. All right, so that's it for what? Metagonimus yokogawa.